by itself, Impresto is pretty impressive. But when you combine it with all of the features that SiteGrinder allows you to add to Impresto shows, it really gets off the hook. So let's take a look at a presentation that was created by combining uh, the best of Impresto with the best of SiteGrinder. What we have here is a presentation about the solar system that we made as a demonstration of what you can do by combining these two technologies. We start uh, showing a background of stars, which is something you can do with just Impresto by itself, and you'll notice that that background remains in place as the slide content moves from slide to slide. And we have some uh, type layers that were created in Photoshop. Again, this is an Impresto feature, the Media Lab Impresto logo there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is just start navigating this show. So first we're going to swing the camera around in a big move that's going to show us the entire solar system. And again, this is all just basic Impresto features. Uh, each of these planets is its own slide, so we'll be visiting them individually. What we're doing right now is we have what we call a view that is just pulled way back and looking at all of our slides at once. Now I'm going to just uh, forward the show uh, to the sun. And notice that we have uh, the tiny planet Mercury next to the sun. And what we want to do is we've actually got a nice high resolution photo of that uh, from NASA. And so what I'm going to do is zoom way in on that as we travel to Mercury. And again, this is just a, a standard Impresto feature. So far, we haven't really uh, shown much of the site grinder elements. So let's go move on to Venus. Venus, uh, we implemented here using a what we call an accordion in SiteGrinder, which is a way of having uh, text and images uh, organized into an accordion-like uh, setup where you can navigate from one accordion area to the next using custom buttons. So as you see here, we have two different views of Venus available, and we navigate them using this accordion. So the accordion, again, is a site grinder feature uh, that we're combining with Impresto. Here. Now let's move on to the next planet. Some of you may recognize this one. Uh, and uh, right now we're just looking at pretty much only Impresto features. We have this uh, space station, which is what we call scenery in Impresto, and then of course the Earth. Another thing you'll note here is that we have real text uh, down here at the bottom. We can select it. It's uh, search engine optimized. And it's in a custom Google font. Uh, and that's a, a basic Impresto feature. It does not require SiteGrinder. Um, basically, we, we uh, downloaded and installed a Google font and uh, used it in Photoshop. And SiteGrinder Impresto automatically put the code in allowing us to use this font on our page. Uh, even on the internet, it'll automatically download and use the font. So all we had to do was just select the font in Photoshop after we installed it. Now we'll move on to the moon. And keep in mind all the text that you see, if you have a site grinder, is editable after the fact. So once you're actually looking at your presentation in the browser, you can change all of this text. Uh, and now let's do another big zoom in. We've got a, 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 a tiny... Uh, slide that is sitting on top of the moon here. So let's let's zoom way into it. And we've got another site grinder feature as part of this slide. Once we finish the zoom, we've got an audio clip that we have set up to play using site grinder's X media feature. So this is not an Impresto built-in feature. This is something that you need to have Impresto and site grinder to do. I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man. So that was just an audio clip. Uh, we could also have video, and we'll see that later. And you'll notice the, uh, the Earth slide in the background there, which is pretty nice. Now let's uh, navigate on to the next world here. The Mars uh, uh, v uh, slide here has got a lot of site grinder features going on. First of all, notice this uh, live news feed that is scrolling along above the planet. And uh, that is created using uh, what we call a panel sheet in SiteGrinder. Uh, panel sheets can actually get their content from RSS feeds and Atom feeds over the internet. So this is actually a live Mars news feed from a, a space news site. Um, then Mars, the planet itself, is using a SiteGrinder gallery. So again, not a built-in Impresto feature. It's a site grinder feature that we've used in our Impresto show. This gallery happens to have a number of different views of Mars. So as I click on Mars here, notice that the planet changes from one view to another. 
And also notice this text here uh, down in the lower right-hand side of the planet. Uh, it actually changes to, this is called metadata, and you can use uh, arbitrary text to uh, uh, associate with each image in a gallery. So watch as I change to the next image, we see a different caption. All right, moving on to the next slide. Uh, notice we're going to pass through the asteroid belt between uh, Mars and Jupiter. And I actually created the asteroid belt in several different layers so that I could use uh, different distances from the camera. So as we go through, we'll actually see some parallax uh, as different asteroids are at different uh, levels away from the camera. Now, here we are at Jupiter. Uh, not, uh, this is all just basic. Uh, uh, impresto stuff going on here. Um, and now I want to show you uh, another site grinder feature that we've implemented as part of this show. Uh, notice in the upper left hand corner of the show, uh, we have this cool symbol here that's actually an astrolabe, which is an ancient uh, artifact for uh, identifying where planets are and stars and such. When I hover over it, you'll notice that uh, a menu pops up. It's actually a menu of custom image buttons. Uh, so the image buttons and the menu. Uh, are both site grinder features. So I was able to create a custom menu. And then down at the very uh, bottom, you see there's an arrow pointing left and over on the other side, an arrow pointing right. Those are custom next and previous buttons, basically. And that is a, an Impresto feature. Um, you can use your own images uh, as next and previous buttons. But if you want to navigate directly to slides using custom image buttons, that's a site grinder feature. So what I'll do here is I'll just click here on uh, Saturn. And you'll notice we're taken directly to the Saturn slide. Uh, and again, we'll just move on here because there's not a lot of uh, other site grinder stuff going on on these particular slides. I will point out down in the lower left-hand corner, there's this little built with site grinder image button. And if you click on that, that'll take you to Media Lab's website. And that's also a, a, a site grinder feature, this custom image button to go wherever you like. Finally, we're about to get to Pluto, and there's a fair amount going on on the Pluto slide, too, so I'll go ahead and prepare you before we go there. It's got a, a YouTube video embedded that's, again, a site render feature, and that's using the site render X Media uh, feature, and it's going to just automatically start playing once we get there, and it's uh, astronomer Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about uh, Pluto being demoted from a planet to what they call a dwarf planet. And then I also put Neil deGrasse Tyson's Twitter feed as a separate X Media layer. Uh, on this uh, slide as well. So that's also a site grinder feature. So we'll move on to the slide and watch what happens. So the YouTube video begins said playing. It was an oddball from the beginning. Well, not from the very beginning. At the very beginning, people just assumed because they were. Now, notice we have our YouTube controls. I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video here so I don't have to talk over Dr. Tyson. And what I'm going to do here is just take a look at this Twitter feed and uh, also take a look over here in the lower right. We've actually got a web form. So you can actually sign up for this web form and click the submit button. So the form is a site grinder feature. The Twitter feed is a site grinder feature. And the video, of course, is a site grinder feature. Every, uh, then the, just the planet itself and the starry background and all of that stuff is just basic Impresto. Then I'll uh, forward one more time, and we'll go back to our very beginning slide, which is uh, zoomed way out of our show and just has our logo again. This is the Photoshop file that was used to create the Solar System show. In this case, we have essentially created placement-only layers for all of the planets, and that's what you see in the upper row uh, essentially of this show. You see the solar system laid out and all the planets are sized relative to each other. These layers are purely to tell uh, Impresto where the planets should appear and how big they should be relative to one another. It's a lot easier to work with the planets at their full resolution size, so that's why we have a kind of pasteboard layout along the lower two-thirds of the document where all of the planets appear at their full resolution along with their text captions and things like that. Even the astronaut uh, appears here. Uh, other layers that we call scenery, which are just sort of between the various slides, uh, like the space station, appear on, in this pasteboard at their full resolution, allowing us to uh, both have the ease of working with them uh, in their large form, but also able to easily position them relative to one another and size them relative to one another using the placement layers. You'll notice in the 
uh, layers palette, we have a mix of uh, slide layer groups with the slide hint and scenery layer groups with the scenery hint. And finally, let's take a look at some of the site grinder content. You'll notice that uh, we have our accordion laid up here. It's very, uh, what you see is what you get. If we look in the Venus slide, you'll see that we have our accordion layers organized here into the Venus slide. And here we see the uh, menu that we created to navigate from planet to planet. It uh, looks very WYSIWYG. Uh, what you see is what you get here in the Photoshop document. So as you can see, the Photoshop document looks quite a bit like the final show. So uh, the main other thing to notice about this show is that everything, of course, in Photoshop is laid out on uh, as if it were on one giant piece of paper. Uh, when we want to add depth by, for example, moving the Impresto text layers away from the sun, uh, we do that in Impresto's browser-based editing tools. Uh, which allow us to move things uh, in the X, Y, and Z uh, axis, as well as rotate them in the X, Y, and Z axis. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, you can download this file and take a look at it yourself uh, from medialab.com slash impresto and find links to other uh, impresto examples and documentation. Thank you for watching.